Yeah, you told me earlier, bro. Good job. I wasn't even going to play in this, but I got a, about four hours to kill before I leave, so I figured I'd come in and play in this thing. don't really like this one. I was going to play in Boy My Shark, but... Oh, I wasn't even going to play in this. I, uh, what the hell? Do it for less. I wasn't even going to play in this, Josh. I appreciate <laughs> I practiced with Dave and them earlier, but I had about, got about four hours to the kill before we leave, so I really wasn't even going to play in it. I was going to play in Don't Boy Me Shark, but I thought, oh, let's just go ahead and I guess I'll get experience for next year. Not that I... I understand the concept of this one, I just don't like it. Thanks, Jordan. Oh, this is going to be a long two hours. I wasn't going to do this, Jer. I practiced with the boys earlier for 20 minutes, and I didn't even finish the template. <laughs> I don't know what I got time to kill, Jer. It's the only reason I'm playing it, but thank you. I, I, hope, I, wish you, I hope you do good in this, man. I know you like the red and shiny, so you, you might be good in this one, buddy. You might be able to do something in this one, Jer. It won't be me. What's Jordan doing? Is Jordan doing good? I was doing good in the regular comps off stream, so I almost did Don't Bully Me Shark, but I want to press my luck. <laughs> I podiumed in three comps in a row. <laughs> Maybe I do better when I'm not streaming. Yeah, well, you know how I feel about this one, Jer. I can't believe I talked myself into doing it. <laughs> I really didn't want to, but I was like, man, I guess if I get stuck in this situation next year, I kind of know what the hell I'm doing, so... I, if I didn't have time to kill, but we're going to the uh, a hotel tonight, and then we fly out early in the morning, jerk, for South Carolina. But if I didn't uh, didn't have time to kill, and I wasn't just sitting here, <laughs> I would not have, bro. What? Great one. Yeah, I might be able to do that, and then we're leaving right after that. My wife's getting a bunch of stuff ready right now. I might be able to do the bloody threat. We'll see. You're doing yours after the bloody threat. Great one. I, I didn't stream my semifinal run, man. I did take stomach though.
Uh, I was worried about that when you said you qualified. <laughs> if you're not experienced with the, uh, the speckled dirt, the Amazon, you're probably going to be in trouble, man. Uh, we leave, we leave for the, the hotel here in about, uh, four hours, man. Leave in four hours, Richard. We're staying in the hotel tonight. We fly out in the morning. The airport's two hours away, so we didn't want to get up three in the morning. I wasn't going to stream this or play in it, but I talked myself into it because I got time to kill. I just didn't play in I wasn't going to stream it or even play in this, but I'm bored, so. All right. Well, good luck, great one. Well, I practiced was I was doing uh I did get three podiums in a row, Richard. I wish I'd have been streaming that. <laughs> Other than Barbel. Barbel, Bream, and uh, Salmon Clash. I got 137 in Salmon Clash. I'm like, where the hell did that come from? Oh, I, yeah, I did get the achievement. I took a screenshot of it. Yep. I did. Uh, I don't remember what I got. I got something. But, yeah, I did. Uh, Barbel. Uh, what was the brand at? I didn't realize I did it. I got something for it. Some kind of an achievement, but I don't remember what the hell it was. Oh, where the hell's the Bream? What's stupid is I just, uh, I literally did the same thing in Bream I, that I always do, and I got third. Do what? Yeah, on the Cloudy Peak, Richard, the same thing I do all the time, but the game just gave me fish. I, I don't know why. And then the really stupid thing was... And, and this, I don't know, what the hell. Everywhere I went, I just got my trophies and uniques out. <laughs> it was the, the silliest thing ever. Everywhere I went. I don't know. This game sometimes, I tell you. <sighs> oh, Ian's done good. Well, the Bream, I don't even know how to, I hate to keep rambling, Richard, but literally, I don't even know, in the Bream thing, I might have got two blockers, one Roach and one Gobi, which was, I, I don't know, I didn't even do anything different, <laughs> it's just, what? same mix, same spot, same amount of spots, same hook size, same bait, no blockers. <laughs> uh... Oh, God, this is going to be bad, isn't it? There you go, Jordan. Oh, I practiced this with Dave and them earlier, and then I went and did Tiger Trails because I'd signed up. I signed up for Don't Bully My Shark, too. I was going to do that and not even stream or play this, but I thought as bad as Don't Bully My Shark can be, I... I could literally sit and don't blow me shark for an hour and a half and not catch anything either. So I figured at least in this I get to cast a lure and I don't have to stare at a bobber for an hour and a half.
<laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, Richard. I guess I was pre-selected to have good luck. I, I don't know. And you guys don't have to worry about me dumping my bag today because I won't catch anything. <laughs> I have I have no idea, great one. I haven't even studied to see who's... Uh, my guess is the GTF is going to be hard to beat. Depending on how many of them get in there. Obviously, uh, in slip in this one, Delhi. If Delhi makes it in this, probably Delhi. Delhi, Bam, or uh, there's a there's a guy that uh, part of Super Dave's group that's really good. He's on uh, on my friends list. Charger. There's a guy by the name of Charger that's really good. A guy by the name of Charger. That would be my upset special. I think Charger could have a good run. I know he's good in the semis, and I know he's good at uh, really good at blue crab. So I'm gonna go with my buddy Charger. I think Charger can win it. And of course, Keith on my own club. Keith's good there, the bass speed hunt. So if he can get through semis somehow, he might be able to make a showing. So. I don't think this spot's active. I don't even know if I can hit 50 pounds in this thing. Got one butterfly in 12 minutes. I'll be even more curious to see when the new uh, club series starts.
Oh, a 22% line. That's not good. There goes my club topper. Piranha. Rana. Oh, hell, that's the same. The slug? No, I haven't tried the slug. What do you use in a Mighty 3 ball, bro? Buzz baits, poppers, that sort of thing, man. Buzz bait or popper? Watch out for the tri era. My best advice to you, great one, go back and watch one of Dave or Rex's streams, man. They probably got one from semifinal somewhere. Look around on uh, Rex's channel, buddy. He's probably got something for you. Rex probably has something up somewhere. Him or Dave streamed it a couple years ago, I think. I think my goal on this is to try to beat Grizzly. What's what's Grizzly fishing? <laughs> this has got to be a piranha, right? This is not a bass. Croaker? Piranha. Get warmed up for the bloody threat. And slips at 90. Because he deserves it. He's going to make fun of me. I really wasn't even going to play in this. He got me started today when I got home from work. I was in a peaceful mood, ready to go play into some comps off stream. And he started talking about this thing. And I went, next thing I know, I'm going around comparing notes for these things and spots. Yeah, this wasn't even on my mind until Grizzly brought it up this morning. And you can see why. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I don't even... I'm curious if I can even get 10 bass. I, I wasn't going to play it, Keith. Grizzly got me started on it this morning. I was just going to play comps while I'm killing time before we go to the hotel and fly out in the morning, but... <laughs> Grizzly was calling me a quitter. 
So I gotta come in here and try to cut. I don't even remember where all my marks are at. Hold on, that's not it. It's over here, I think. I got a couple more marks around here, somewhere. It's usually Jer talking me into playing the red and shiny. Oh, he's 21. He's only got 21 pounds. Time, I'm going to kick his butt. <laughs> yeah, I just got, the Operation Beat Grizzly has commenced, boys. As long as we can be... Oh, Jordan... Jordan's making a move. I hope this thing gets better as it goes along, because this is not... Uh -oh. No, I practiced the template for about 20 minutes earlier, trying all kinds of different lures this morning with the Dave and all them guys, and it was not fun. <laughs> well, I don't even know if I'll beat Grizz, guys. They're saying he's got 21 pounds an hour in or whatever, but... <laughs> uh... I'm 19 minutes in with one bass, guys. No, I I really wasn't even going to play in this buzz. I was going to play in Don't Bully Me Shark. <laughs> oh, that, judging by Dave's, it don't get any better. I watched the start of Dave's stream and Rex and Grizz and them to wish him luck. But <laughs> when I ate lunch and I sat here, I'm like, man, I guess I'll play in this stupid thing. Twenty bus, yeah. Uh great one. Are you playing Don't Bully Me Shark? I wouldn't say it's a great competition. Big Brother's more fun. <laughs> no, if I could somehow get ten bass in this, I think that's going to be impressive. I can't even. I'm about to start throwing a mouse. Damn, bro. Every spot. All right. Well, good luck. Get in there and get you some shark. Oh, I'm keeping any bass I catch. <laughs> uh, I used to be able to get two or three in that, but I, I got to where I don't even play the Red and Shine anymore, Buzz. Honestly, I really wasn't even going to play in this. I, I kind of regret talking myself into doing it. Oh my god. That thing looked bigger than that. I thought that was like I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was like a I thought that, that was an eight pound piranha, man. That thing was huge. <sighs>
I wonder if you stay at a spot long enough you just finally catch one. Let me try something. I used to be able to get one here every time. Look at a little different angle here. Okay, that's five. Can I make it six? Oh, yeah, I wasn't even going to participate, bro, in this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's bad, man. <laughs> so don't feel, in other words, don't feel bad. I don't even like the red and shiny competition. That's what this reminds me of, but worse. Thirty minute left to know you. I've got one bass, bro, in like thirty minutes. <laughs> You're doing better than I did. Yeah, Big Brother is better because you can use a lure in it, man. And I think the peak's better. The peak's better in Big Brother than it is Don't Bully Me Shark, in my opinion. 
Yeah, key for sure. They like to torture people in this one. Wow, that might have actually been a bass. That one just flew out of the water too. Of course it did. Did I finally get something beside the damn piranha? I don't think so. Nope, piranha. Thank you, Dizal. Good luck to you too, buddy. I want my other bass. You finished 16th in Q2 on st uh, Steam? Nice. I'm using the double punch, man. That little Loki set up. Angaro, uh, you know who X Series Rodrigo is. He's got a pretty good video up on this. I, I would refer you to my buddy X Series Rodrigo. He he's he's really good with this red and shiny and these 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 red peacock, man. Oh yeah, twelve hundred register. Holy cow, that's a lot, man. That's definitely a good job to get 16th. Yeah, I think we only had around 800. I can't remember. I forgot to look, to be honest. I'm guessing around 800. 7 or 800. Man, I really don't want to have to drive way back over here, to be honest. Oh, Uncle Lee, you're fine, bro. I've caught... <laughs> I got one unique... Uh, yeah, yeah. I get it, buddy. I get it. I've got one bass in 30 minutes, bro. This is not a very fun qualifier. Yeah, this is the uh, double punch. At, uh, that's three though, man. I'm pretty sure that was a bass too. Why did they keep missing? Oh, for sure. I just don't want to have to drive my boat way back over here. I might at least get the trophy out of here. I've been over here so long, there should at least been something come out of here. <coughs> Jordan's not that far off, man, if he can get like 12 more pounds.
Yeah, Angaro, if you ever watch X-Series Rodrigo on it, he's kind of doing this little three-click thing. I'm trying to do like he said. I don't know if it's, it's not really helping me. guessing I was telling Dave and them you think it would be around you think it would be up you think it would be up for my year oh man I'm gonna have to sit here and listen to this flag come on I really don't want to listen to this flag lot of people yeah anybody that watches this is probably not going to want to play it <laughs> is this a is that a croaker unique jacunda <laughs> oh that flag is going to get annoying One and well, yeah. So you're just right on the, right on the edge there. But at least you're in striking distance, buddy. cast here and I'll get out of this noisy area. Yeah, great one. The, the fun qualifiers are one and two. This one's not fun. Unless you're really good at that rain and or red and shiny comp. I think I thought I haven't even got a butterfly, though. Good stuff, Jordan. You're almost there, man. Are you done? Damn. Yeah, he's almost there. Or from last year. I think qualifying last year was uh, 94 on PlayStation. What in the... Oh, the shark. I didn't even play in it. Oh, come on, man. Did it... Bro.
Oh, this is the hard way to hit this. Alright. Look at me a butterfly at least. You guys said it doesn't get any better when it stops raining. <laughs> it's not a unique brawl. It's just a trophy. <laughs> but yeah, you can have it, man. If I could give it to you, I would. Last 30 to 45 minutes. All right. I don't even think I'm going to catch Grizzly. What's Grizzly at? 40 by now? Did Grizz Grizzly get him a unique butterfly at least? I've caught one trophy butterfly. In 40 minutes. All right. I had a miss. That's encouraging. I don't know if it was a prana. At least we know there's a fish there. I'm gonna try to lift and drop.
Man, there's this not even active anywhere. I think we've grinded that long enough. I'm done with that lure for a while. Don't care. Don't care anymore. Let's try something different. It's not like the buzz bait and the spider's tearing it up. That's supposed to be the go to. Oh, there's not even life in this lake. Not even life. <laughs> Unique Bayara. <laughs> yeah. I would take that at this point, man. I'm gonna throw a mouse for a while, boys. I I honestly don't even care anymore. I can't even get a piranha to bite. Dave got up to 90. Watch Dave qualifying this. That'd be funny. Oh, he's finished. Damn. That's still a good score. Ain't 
nothing to be ashamed of on 90 on this one. Almost a 10 pound average too. Oh, nine pounds. Man, I can't even get. Let me see. Damn. I wonder if a pair. <laughs> Does a pair hit a topper? Does anybody know? If I do, I'm losing this topper probably. Oh, he did. That's actually might be a qualifying score. I don't know. I don't want to predict it. I don't want to predict it. That was a qualifying score from last year. 94 was the cutoff. Okay, they do. Okay, that's probably not a good idea. I got other spots I can hit, but damn. I don't think it's going to matter what I use. I mean, I can go back to the buzz bait, but... I don't think it really matters what I use, man. And break out the cheese, but oof. We'll try it one more time. Oh my God, we got our first thread. Amazing. Well, it took an hour. Good grief, bro. It's only an hour, guys. Howdy, Alex. I wonder how much time Jordan's got left. Oh, that would be great if he could leapfrog over that. Him and Beavers is both good at this, Keith. Beavers is good at this one, too. I think Beavers can get up there. That's probably a payara. What is that? Is that a butterfly? The trophy already respawned. That's hilarious. That's a respawn trophy because that's where I caught the trophy at the start. Oh, for sure. 
Keith, did Tom share those marks I sent to him? I took him and showed him around kind of the exact order I went in last year. That worked out pretty good in that semi, man. He was supposed to share them with you and Fork. Oh, hell, I forgot to cut all those. <laughs> Hold on, fellas. Hold on here. That's bad when you got piranha on your... I got a unique jacunda in here, too, somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, I got five bass. I caught three of them in the last four minutes. I cannot believe I haven't had a PR yet over here. No, no, it, it won't be, bro. <laughs> no, I'll be lucky to hit 60 pounds in this thing, man. Two more casts, but I'm happy, Nick. I gotta keep moving. At least I can go through until I get some trophies. Nice lag spike. Yesterday you got, oh, that sucks too. For Q2, man, they just gave you really bad RNG, Alex. The Q1 and Q2 are supposed to be fun. This one's supposed to be bad. Good game, Jordan. I wish Jordan could have got one more. It's going to be close. Piranha, Croker, Bayara. Yeah, well, I think sometimes, you know the deal, Alex. I think sometimes you're just earmarked for bad luck, man. That sucks. I I, I don't want to call it, I, I don't want to call it, Keith. It's hard to say. It was 94 last year on the cutoff on this one, but nonetheless, 96 pounds in this damn thing is amazing, so... He definitely did good, but let's hope. North, you got 10, but the biggest death by smalls. Yep. <laughs> Holy cow, North, a 7.8. That is bad luck, man. Oh, you had a bad day at work also, and then you come home and get kicked in the kicked in the junk on the game. That even makes it worse. <laughs> Damn. Oh. 
Well, I had fun in Q1 and Q2, boys. I knew this one wasn't going to be fun. Oh, you got 17? I I don't know what odd. I think I got 12 or 13. My sizes were ridiculous yesterday, other than a couple eight pounders. If I knew I wasn't going to be able to participate, I could have. I'm pretty sure I could have qualified yesterday if I wouldn't have been horsing around there at the end. But I, I was I was blessed with some good sizes yesterday. Yeah, North, I agree too. And if, like I said before, if you get your fish you're going for and the, the sizes aren't there, that doesn't bother you. Oh, yeah, for sure. You got good sizes, Keith. Where the hell is this thing over here? That's oh, not him. Prada? Is it another Prada or Croker? Prada. Alright, boys. I just got to get four more. Well, I got five or four more bass to get here. Can I at least hit 50? What? What would Grizzly end up at? Is he still going? I got to try to beat Grizzly somehow. Or did Grizzly probably got a unique by now? I probably won't catch him. Okay, that's a good fish, but I doubt it's what I need. Okay, I think it's a bass. I don't know if it's red or butterfly, though. Butterfly. At least I got a unique. It's a small one, but it is a victory nonetheless. Grizz has 50. Oh, God, I'll never catch him. That's not him. Is that a piranha? I'm pretty sure it's another piranha, bro. Oh, that's a nice piranha. Come on, get up there. Oh, I missed it. Sure, that was a bass.
I, I, yeah, I don't want to call it, Jordan. 94 was the cutoff last year. It's hard to say, buddy. Good, good fishing for sure. That's why I was just telling the chat. You and Beavers is good at this one. I think you and Beavers both have a chance. I don't know what the cutoff will be, Jordan. But nonetheless, you're only three pounds behind end slip, so that's a hell of a job, man. For real. Top stuff, buddy. I'm just trying to beat Grizzly somehow, Jordan, but I don't think I can catch him. They're saying he's at 59 or 69 or something. I don't even think I'm going to get a unique. I can't. This one, why will this not? Yeah, it was 94 last year, so fingers crossed, buddy. These things usually go up each year by a little bit. All depends. You just, Jordan, you just played it like red and shiny, though, didn't you? Did you do anything different that you would in red and shiny? Oh, yeah, that's why I figured. That's why I think Beavers will be good at it as well. Beavers ought to be able to get in the 90s. I don't want to jinx him, but I think Beavers can get in the 90s. Hold on a second, I got a phone call. Uh, won't be in this fork. I almost did. I wasn't even going to play in it. <laughs> but Grizzly is trying to force me to play in this. But yeah, three podiums, man, back to back to back. But yeah, that was, that was fun. I should have stayed with the regular comps. <laughs> More fun than this.
Come on, I can normally get a trophy over here. Oh, you're welcome, man. I hope it helps you. Like I said, just experiment with those two different ground bases. You'll be fine, man. No problem, buddy. Okay, fine, man. That better not be a piranha. That should be at least a trophy. At least I got another bass in my net. But this spot, this is my favorite spot. <laughs> this is usually the only one I ever get to guarantee a trophy at least. Yeah, I don't know when they left. I don't know if... Pull your finger out. <laughs> Something, bro. A good job, Charger. I, I was telling the guys earlier, you're you're my you're my sleeper pick for the the final there, buddy. I know you're good at the uh, Amazon and the uh, Blue Crab. So good luck and congrats on making it to the finals, bro. There's a there's a couple lures I there's one in particular I used there last year, man. But just popper or buzz bait usually. The mouse does pretty good too if you know what you're doing with it, man. Oh. That's not him. Damn, I wonder if my uni flew away. Uh, 49 minutes to get three more bass. <laughs> oh, man. I'm debating about not driving all the way down the other spot. I gotta get a unique somewhere, though. Come on, bro. I'll be here. That's not him, but that's a bass. It's gotta be a bass, right? Yeah. We'll take it. Just a common, but we'll take it. Come on, bro. Yeah, Jordan had a great run, man. Dizzy, are you doing this one, bro? You're good at this one, aren't you? That might be a piranha. That's a piranha. Try whatever pairing you like, bro. They're speckled bass, man. They'll hit about anything, buddy.
Good luck with that one, Jordan. Oh, you missed the signups? I was wondering why I didn't see you up there in Q1 or Q2, Diz. No wonder. Bro, they're not going to give me this thing. Come on, man. All right. Be active, bro. Oh, this retrieve is so annoying. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, we have three so far. Keith, Tom, and somebody. Who else is the other one? Oh, Fork. Yeah, you Fork and, or Fork, Keith, and maybe Jordan, too. And Tom. I, to be honest, Desi, I used one lower the entire time <laughs> in that last year. I did extremely well, and it wasn't a popper. Yep, Tom made it. Tom keeping fork so far. It looks like Jordan's got a chance for sure. Depends on what the new cutoff is. Since end slip only got 99, I think he might have a good chance. Fine, like damn, how many times do I have to cast on her? Oh god, do not get off on low tension, please. Oh.
Uh, oh my god, he missed it twice. I hope that wasn't a uni. Come on, bro. Three times. Unbelievable. There we go. That's not him, though. At least it's a bass. I got a chance to get my 10 anyway. Uh, go to um, your settings and go to pro. Hold on. I'll show you in a second, man. Hold on. Piranha, come on, Piranha. Damn. Go to settings and then go down here. Tackle load indicator and put it on pro. Right here, buddy. Just go over to your settings. You probably got it on simple. Put it on pro right there. Same thing if you want your bobber bigger. You're welcome, Travis. No problem, buddy. Ah, uh, they are not this piranha after piranha. I know. Hold on. What is that? Is that a small red one? We'll take it if it is. Oh, it's a small butterfly. <laughs> I think we need it. No, we're full. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, we got our ten. There's the wrap, boys. The Rapala team should do good in this one. They play that red and shiny a ton. I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's a piranha. Good God, is it a piranha. That was something big. Hit it on the fall. Okay, we're done. All we're gonna get is a piranha spawn. Travis, appreciate the sub, man. Stick it out over here just for briefly. Three cast or less if I don't have a 
butterfly or red, I'm out of here. I can easily get a trophy out of here, but... Uh, it's pretty bad, Jay. Pretty bad, bro. You're not going to enjoy the first hour. I had one, I think I had one trophy. I had six pounds for almost an hour. <laughs> I just now started catching a few. It was bad, bro. Alright, now we got a bass. It's it's bad. Do what? Fork? What did Grizzly end up at? Did I beat Grizzly? Did he have 69 or 59? What did Grizzly end up with? One uni short. Nah, yeah, you were close, Jay. I seen you up there. Oh, hell. Grizzly beat me by far. I think, I think Jerk, Jerk can get in the 90s in this. Jerk will be up there. He's, he's doing this after Bloody Threat, he said. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and go for that unit, guys. Takes too long, fellers. I can get them right here, but it's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna go down here. See if this spot will actually give me one this time. Probably not. Probably not. Not a piranha. I can't tell what it is. Can't tell if it's a bass that's trapped or it's a piranha. I don't think it's a bass.
Prana. Pretty sure. No, well, it might be another little bath. No, only the green one, man. Only the green major popper cost. <gasps> oh my god, bro. What in the hell was that? Is that a piranha? Oh, that was... <laughs> Dude, I'm glad that wasn't the uni. That about got off. No, the major popper, the black one, and the blue ones just game credits, man. Just the green ones. Green ones are the Bitcoin ones. I thought it was going to get off there. That's the bad thing about this setup, too. Your real speed's not quick enough to catch up with it if it charges you. I've had the uni get off in this spot before, man, that very reason. Man, I'm kind of forced to camp and try to get a unique somewhere. I'm already here, so I might as well give it four or five more minutes here. Oh, I missed it. Oh, great. He just flew across the map. Damn it. That's not him. Piranha. Come on, I need a red.
That might be the butterfly, any. Please don't get off on low tension, bro. Yeah, that's a butterfly, eh? That's a big butterfly, you need help. We needed that. Oh, Jordan, you... Damn, bro, you should have said something. I figured you'd have had this one, man. Well, you're, you're the pro at this one, Jordan. I thought for sure you'd had this spot. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> no, it ain't to come back a century, bro. I'm happy. I'm happy to hit seventy though, for sure. Spawn the red. And no matter where I go, then we'll spawn it. One more cast here. Yes. All right, I lied. One more cast. Ah, I really needed that one. No. Got him. Holy cow, boys. All right, we got to listen to this annoying flag for a little bit, boys. Thanks, Jordan. Ah, 
I beat Grizzly. Operation kick Grizzly's butt. Succeeded. Mission accomplished, fellas. That'll teach Grizzly. Thank you, Jack. Oh my god, a croaker. You dirty dog. Oh, this flag is so annoying. cast here. I can't stand listening to that flag any longer. That's a butterfly or just a trophy. <laughs> I, I wasn't even going to play Grizzly, but then I thought, I can't let Grizzly beat me in this. <laughs> Grizzly, Grizzly, how did you let me beat you in this? <laughs> Grizzly. Oh, man. I wasn't going to play, and then I got bored. <laughs> My wife said we still have about three or four hours before we leave. To the, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll play in this stupid thing. Grizzly, it was, Grizzly, I had six pounds the first hour. Six pounds total. I had one bass in the whole hour, I think. I'm not even exaggerating. That was bad. I wasn't going to stay here this long, but they keep feeding me bass. I'm going to keep casting and see if I can. I might be able to get the unique butterfly at least out of here. Forty-five minutes. 
I just double checked with Pros and Dave this morning. They had to look it up. It's 45 minutes, man. At the Amazon? Yep, 45 minutes. Same at Blue Crab as well. If you make the finals. Cast here. I can't rotate now because that was another bass. All right. <laughs> Last, dude, come on. Just give me the unique butterfly. I would love to say I had 80 pounds in this. I'm getting out of here. Hold on. We're gone. Wasted too much time over here. Get in here. All right, I don't have to listen to that flag anymore. All right, it'll be a blessing. All right, well, I got a unique available pretty much everywhere, so. Trouble is, I don't have no time. I should have started out like this. Come on, Piranha. Are you serious? He hit that on the fall, too. Dirty dog. Unbelievable. Sink, 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 bro.
No. I think I got a better chance of getting it off the point. That and it takes 16 years for that to sink. Boy. This would be a great time for Enoch Perar to hit. Yep. Practice, practice, practice for sure, buddy. That was something nice. Come on, that's not him. The better fish missed it. Damn it. I'm kind of stuck grinding here, boys. Croaker. It's a good fish, but it might be a, what is that? That might be the uni butterfly.
Okay. I don't really have time. What do I do? Let's just write it out here. No, Wayne, it's not. Uh, my first hour, Wayne, I, had, I think I had six pounds. <laughs> this is not the one of the most enjoyable. I think I had one, one bass in a whole hour real time. I didn't really pick up till the last 35 minutes, man. So expect a bunch of misery if you didn't already. There's the Payara. Oh no, that was a Papa. That was a baby Payara. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> I appreciate you tuning in. That does conclude the World Bass Tour for me this year. I would dump that, but I know that will not be a qualifying score. But anybody that watches this back, as you can see, it was really slow to start. Uh, I would just encourage you to fish through it, even if it is painful. Uh, I think when you know practice makes perfect, especially in the real thing. So it is good to get yourself experience. So in future years, if you find yourself in the situation. You are more apt to do better knowing that you can make it through that miserable, uh, miserable peak here for these things. Yep, yep. But considering the way I started, boys, I want to say the first hour, I, I'd have to look back at myself. The first hour, I literally had that 6.37. I did stick it out and end up with 81 pounds. I think three unique butterfly, uh, one unique um, red, so... 
Not easy, fellas. Anybody watching this back, it, it is not easy to make it through all that. That was a lot of fun, though, there towards the end, at least. The first hour is absolutely dreadful. Um, definitely Q1 and Q2 are a lot more fun. And I would not blame you if you didn't want to play in this one. But uh, I almost didn't myself, but I forced myself to get some a little more experience for next year. So and congratulations to Jordan. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that score holds for him. Also, congratulations to a lot of my friends that's made it through to the semis. Uh, let's see here. Good job for sure to Fork, JL, Tommy. Good job there in Q1. Some guys that hasn't been there before as well as... It might hold. I, I don't want to call it because who knows what that score. <laughs> I hope I hope it does. That's not a not an easy thing there. So we'll see what happens when the uh, all those other guys come through. Is this really not going to pop up? Also, congratulations to Keith there, our very own Keith in third. Uh, Strangler usually does pretty good in Q2, so good good stuff there, Strangler. Uh, Charger for sure, definitely a great job, Charger. Look out for this guy. This guy here I'm predicting to make it to the finals for sure. Uh, don't choke, Charger. Don't choke, bro. Good job, Betty, as well. Uh, Tap is always a good player. Great one there, just a new guy learning stuff there, as well as David with the GTF. He's a great guy. Good, good to see you made it in there, David. As well as Tom the Flush. Tom the Flush is a great fisherman as well. So we'll be able to see how this shapes out. <clears throat> and uh, good luck to everybody. And uh, I'll see you guys with Tuesday when I get back. And uh, good luck to everybody again. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys get on them speckled there in the semis, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.